how's your gym journey going so far? Really well, Cyan. Um, got a whole gym in there. Been doing a lot of Olympic type lifts. Man, I'm just killing it. Just killing it. I can do about 30 to 40 pull ups in one go now. And I'm like super ripped. So, hey, I, I'm immensely happy with that. Not very many 40 plus year olds look as good as me now i'm like hey just gotta keep at it that's the big thing it's so easy man this holiday season this last month was rough i think i ate way too many sweets and just kind of fell off the wagon a little bit but uh not too bad I, I still made it to the gym i think the only week i took off was between christmas and new year's i didn't go to the gym uh for five days i think or, or no i went a whole seven days and then i, I made it back yesterday and today sugar is poison 100 percent. so is alcohol i think a lot of people there's like the myth of alcohol like ah, one one glass of wine a night is good for your heart or something there's like all that stuff out now alcohol is just bad for you i love it don't get me wrong i love to have a drink here and there but that was not sugarcoat it that stuff's terrible for you and i think these days more people have learned that I feel like the younger generation is much smarter in that regard to health, where I think a lot in my generation, a lot of 40, 50, 60, even, even older than me, still thinks that a little bit of alcohol is okay. Nah, no, nah, man, that's just not good for you, regardless of how much you have. More is obviously worse, but a little bit ain't helpful. <laughs> but you'd be shocked shocked how many people still think a glass of wine a night is perfectly healthy perfectly fine no man it's not it's a bad habit you're just putting poison in you every night don't no, no, i'm not hating on you i totally get why you do it hell it feels good at the time and then you feel like crap after <laughs> but yeah yeah, it's it's just one of those things. I think it was just a bad myth that kind of spiraled out of control. But even even every once in a while, I'll still hear about it. Uh, but I it, it, and it's I'm not above it. Like I said, the New Year's Eve, I was definitely had a, a few drinks, but I made sure to hit the gym the next day. And boy, was I hurting. But I was like, you know what? You deserve this. <laughs> you had the drinks. You pay for it. Uh. <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> yes. Uh, no doubt. Yeah, all about balance. That's the thing. It's all about balance. That's 100%. I think the number one killer, and this is, I think everyone would agree with this. Even alcoholics will agree with this. Stress. Stress is the number one killer of people. If you're super stressed out, Dude, it doesn't matter what you're eating, how much you're working out. If you're super stressed out every single day, you're going to die a lot sooner. And it's just not good. So that's the that's the balance most people miss. That's the thing I think everyone misses. Stress is the number one killer of people, I think. So I always try and find stuff and like, hey, does this make me stressed out? I should not do that then. And now everyone in chat's going, well, I'm never going to work again then. <laughs> uh, but you got to find something that doesn't stress you out for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I just know that my dad was a marathon runner and very healthy. Uh, he didn't eat that great, but he, he ended up passing away at like 50, 54, I think is how old he was. And... Um, I've had a lot of people in my family and around me that have passed away in their 50s, mainly from either drug abuse, drinking, uh, bad habits, being overly stressed, I think is another big one. There's just all those things that can compile on you. So you got to watch out for, for all of it. Hopefully I didn't stress you out too much by this conversation, but hey, just, just keeping it real. 